Hey everyone, so I'm back to review Glass Houses by Rachel Kane, and this is the first book in the Morganville Vampire series. Um, I love this cover, it's great. So I'll start by reading what's over in the back. Welcome to Morganville, just don't stay out after dark. Morganville is a small town filled with unusual characters. When the sun goes down, the bad come out. In Morganville, there is an evil that lurks in the darkest shadows, one that will spill out into the bright light of day. For Claire Danvers, high school was hell, but college may be murder. It was bad enough that she got on the wrong side of Monica, the meanest of the school's mean girls. But now she's got three new roommates who all have secrets of their own. And the biggest secret of all isn't really a secret, except from Claire. Morganville is run by vampires, and they are hungry for fresh blood. And it says on the front, peer pressure sucks, say the vampires. Um, I've decided that I really should actually rate a book so that um, people can cut through all my gibberish and have an overall conclusion of the book. So for now I'm going to rate a book and I would rate this 4 out of 5. Um, when you, I was a bit reluctant to start the series because it's another vampire series and not only that, it's you know quite a long series. Um, but I liked it, so 4 out of 5. Um, there was nothing really wrong with it. Um, it's pretty standard. The, the writing was good, the plot was good. I loved the characters. I really did like the characters in this. Um, so yeah, but I don't know why I think it's 5 really. I suppose it was because it was just so sort of standard. There was nothing really amazing. There were some good um, surprises. Um, so yeah, so um, basically Claire is is really smart and she leaves um, high school um, a year early because she's you know, so smart and that's given her problems in the past, you know, she's too smart, people don't really want to hang around with her. So she's sort of used to that and she thinks, go to college and things will be different, you know, like-minded people, she'll be with other smart people and she won't be bullied and she wants to go away to you know a really prestigious school like Harvard um, but her parents are like oh no you're too young you have to stay close to home so she ends up going to Morganville um, school and it's worse there. Um, the book starts out with Claire being bullied and I was quite surprised when I was reading it because it was really quite bad and they push her down the stairs and she knows they're going to come after her then and try and kill her basically all because she said in passing to this girl Monica um, who was talking to boys and saying oh, World War 2 that was that Chinese thing and Claire can't help but go no it wasn't so she makes this um, mean girl look stupid so that mean girl is then out to get her basically um, so Claire realises she has to get out of the dorm and so she looks through advertisements and she comes to this vacancy um, from Michael Glass so she goes there and she meets Eve who's a roommate and she's like a goth girl she's sort of like come in and takes care of her because Claire's black and blue so um, she has a little rest and then she meets Michael and Michael immediately says no because um, she's underage and Claire sort of breaks down and says look they're going to kill me so Michael kind of relents he goes, okay, you can stay for a little while. Um, and then there's Shane. He's a sort of love interest, but it's um, sort of inconclusive in this book where they are as a couple. Um, so that's why I liked the characters. They were all good characters, all written well. It's in Claire's perspective. Um, so it's all around, it's, it's quite good. Um, it ends on such a cliffhanger. So if I had um, only picked up this one, I'd be going a little mad now. But since I've got them all on my shelf over there, I can just leisurely pick one up um, and read the next one. Um, so basically, um, Eve starts telling her that the town is run by vampires, and Claire's a bit like, No, you're insane. Um, but she soon realises that actually it is, and she kicks up hornets' nests basically, and these vampires always start coming after her. Um, for various reasons, plus having to avoid Monica, who wants to kill her. Um, yeah, it's 
nothing too too great. It's published by um, Alison and Busby. I have never heard of that publisher before, and I know these have been published before. It like came out in two thousand and six, and they came out with all different covers on. I might um, at the end of this review put the original cover in, so you can see just how much better this this cover is. Um, yeah, I I really did like it. I I don't. Um, really know what else to say about it because I, I thought when reading it oh, it would be another standard vampire series and it kind of is but um, what really makes it great for me is that in this the vampires are bad again it's not an author trying to make the vampire the tragic hero um, they're evil, they're running the t that's what else I really liked about it and remembered um, is the whole dynamic of the people living um, in the town with the vampires they know about them and they pay for protection and anyone that's protected has like a band or a watch with a symbol on so they know they're protected and they um, pay and they have to donate blood once a month um, to keep the vampires going so that I really yeah I would recommend this if you want to get into a series or you really like vampire novels um it is quite a long series I mean there's book 11 comes out in like November it's quite long but I would recommend them if you want to get into a series if you love your vampire books it is it is a, just a good book it's not something really out, um outstanding but it's well written good characters overall good plot so you can't really fault it but it's just nothing truly, truly original. Um, so yeah, that's my review of Glass Houses by Rachel Kane and happy reading.